Once again, I'm out here in the woods flying my Tello, and this time I have a Bluetooth tracker attached to it, uh, which came in this shape here. And I hope that uh, other than the other Tello I have missing somewhere here in these lovely dark and deep woods, I hope that should this one get lost, I will recover it. And if you follow me to my workbench, I'll show you how I did it. Well, okay, first we have to crack the thing open and see what we're up against. And unsurprisingly, it's a single board construction. Unfortunately, it does not have a proper battery holder. Uh, we will have to work our way around that. Now, unsurprisingly, it's got a 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth antenna here and the beeper there and, well, some circuitry to go with it. Beeps when you switch it on. And it hardly takes any power, so there's hardly ever the need to actually turn it off, which is done like so. Okay, there we go. So, the question was, where do I fit this thing in my Tello drone? There's a lot of different options, but I did not really like any of them. Uh, what I found is this space under the top cover. It's not really big enough but I think we can make that work somehow. We have to take those uh, reinforcements out. Now the missing battery holder presented a bit of a problem, but yeah, some hot snot will get you quite some way here. Uh, not really a recommended solution, but well, that's the job. We'll see if it um, if it can withstand the vibrations of the drone in the long run. Yeah, works. No biggie. Okay, so if it, that if that goes there, then we will have to get rid of a lot of stuff in the top cover. So all these reinforcements need to go out to make room for the beeper. And of course, we'll also need a hole for the switch somewhere. This iTag anti-loss tracker weighs exactly five grams. So that won't present much of a challenge to the drone. I got myself a replacement cover and these covers weigh next to nothing. So that will hardly add anything to the weight of the drone. Yeah, that's like two grams. Now we have to gut this thing out. I speed the process up because that really did take quite a while. We have to get rid of all the reinforcements in the top cover, being careful not to damage the little pins uh, that connect to the base of the uh, Tello drone. I found that working with a Swiss Army knife uh, was actually better than with a Dremel. It makes nice clean cuts. So next thing is we'll have to make room for the beeper because that's we'll have to do um, that will have to go through the top cover somehow. A little hand file does the trick. Okay, next thing we need is a hole for the switch. Also an easy one, but it still does not have enough room for the for the top cover to um, to reconnect to the drone. So we'll have to extend the roof a little bit. So the module fits in here and 
I need to clean it up because the, the edges are a bit, a bit ugly. Okay, next thing is um, something I, I quite like to use. Also, I'm not really good at it, and that is Sugru. Sugru is this um, silicon-like substance that hardens over time. And that uh, should be the ideal solution to, uh, to, to, to model a new top cover. And I've actually never been really good at playing with Play-Doh. Uh, this goes back to my kindergarten days. I, I can't get them to be smooth and, 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 uh, and evenly, um, applied. I'm using some, uh, water and, and soap, uh, that makes a, a smooth surface, but where? Well, it, it does not quite look the way that I that I wanted it, but I guess that's good enough to start with. Okay, so now battery still fits. And two. Reinforce that a little more. I will apply some more sugru on the inside of the cover. And once that's cured, that's a very hard, rubbery substance. Okay, easy so far. Now that cover weighs seven grams. One word of warning, this thing does not have any location awareness, so it will only help you find your drone if you are near it. Um, range is around 10 meters or so, and you can make it go beep. And that's how you will be able to locate the drone. Anything recorded on your mobile phone by the by, by the app that comes with the uh, Bluetooth tracker. That's only the location of the phone. So if you're using a range extender like I do, and you have a say 300 meter range or something, uh, you can't really tell where this thing is within a don't know 600 meter diameter circle, which is huge in the forest. <laughs> 